There we go. Hiya, hiya. We're back again with the uh, part two. <laughs> part of, two. Of a, oh, my a God. winter day in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, actually, it's fall. It feels like winter. We got our long sleeves on. But Robert Fleischer, world class artist. And his mother, we were talking about this, it's part two of his mother making this great almond cake when she was at Mount Sinai for all the years that she worked there. Mm -hmm. Every and Monday. it was feeding the doctors on Monday. Once a week, right. she would make this great almond cake, which was a yeast-based cake. Yes. But I never made this, she never made a cheesecake, but here is she the Joey Reynolds almond cheesecake. All right, this, this is, is the one that I made. This is cruel. This is actually cruel for, for those that are watching that can't taste this thing. Well, this is now we got a. This oh is yeah, an unbelievable. This Look this is a Joey Reynolds original cheesecake. Dog is, one, is even wanting. Oh something. sure, Mary. <laughs> Come here, Mary. All right, now we got to open this now. See. Here we go. You're going to have to hold it up. Take the wrappings off. Can you hold it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be good for the dog because we're going to going to fall off. All right, now this is the actual almond cheesecake that I baked. Wow, look at that, baby. Now, what we want to do... Ooh, look at that. Let's we wanna, get that right in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> can you smell it? Can you taste it? All right, now we're going to cut a little of it so you can taste it oh and see if God. it's acceptable to you for your oh my God. own taste. Did I do this right? I don't know if I got it out. Let's see. I, no, you're in the cardboard. You're in the Am cardboard. Am I really? Yeah, yeah. There you go. You're the artist. You use it. Here, you you cut it. I'll hold the cake. What am I going to... I got to put it on a plate? Yeah. You're the oh one my, that I'm salivating. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Okay, look at now that. That's an almond cake. See? All right. All right, now. Mm. You have oh to hold God. it up to the camera. Oh my they God! They won't be able to see it. See if it's good. Is it good? Oh my God! Taste the cut, the crust. Oh my God! You know, I know you're not supposed to eat on TV. Why not? But this is not like TV. Like you know, I had a radio show in New York on WOR for years. Oh my God! Taste up the crust. Is that good? Oh my God! I, I mean, some things... Why does everybody always say, oh, my God, when they're having sex? Because there <laughs> are some things are... There are no words that exist in English or any other language. How about yummy? For some, for some, <laughs> some things, it doesn't quite say enough. Well, this cheesecake here is made with love. Mm. And our friendship is great. And I don't know what you're going to do with that whole big cake, but I think you're going to have to go down the street and hand it out. Oh, my God, I'm <laughs> kidding <laughs> Are you giving me that whole cake? Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Take I'm gonna, it to Mount Sinai. I'm going to take it home and, and eat it. Okay, so isn't that good? Oh, my God. All right. Almond cheesecake, a Joey Reynolds original. Yeah. Uh, someday. I you usually make the key lime, but I, I, there's no lime in this one. Okay, so that's that. Now you can mm. take that home. Mm. Um, oh, my God. This particular cheesecake that uh, I made for someone at my ex-wife's office. And uh, I made a mistake and gave her the wrong cake. So we were left with this, and now you're stuck with it. Oh, <laughs> what luck. Oh, my God. Uh, there you, know? you go. Mm. All right. So he's still... Oh, eating on camera. So mm -hmm. I was in... I had the radio show on WOR in New York for years, all night. And I had it catered all the time. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I asked remember. people to bring food. Not, not the listeners or the guests, but rather... Restaurants, you know, like Sarge's Deli, mm -hmm. Second Avenue Deli. Mm -hmm. uh, most famously was uh, Del Fresco. They would give us steaks and all kinds of things, you know. Uh, and from Little Italy, Cha Cha's. We had Brajol and uh, Rigatoni. He always gave us something. It was great. Uh, Cha Cha was in The Sopranos, you know, and also mm -hmm. Goodfellow. So I want to give a credit here. In Little Italy, uh, with the Oliva store, which is on the corner of Grand and Mulberry. Nice plug. But you know, uh, he would bring the food. I remember. And, and you would come to, mm -hmm. most people would come to my show to eat. <laughs> they didn't care, they weren't there for me at all. They were there because of the food. Uh, Mickey Freeman, oh, wonderful what comic. Oh, a great guy, great guy. And he, he, he used to say, oh, I gotta take this home to my uh, doorman. 
you know, in New York, they have doormen. <laughs> I says, yeah, that's not going to go to the doorman. The doorman won't eat lox and bagels. <laughs> this is not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> Oop, there you go. Well, Mary was cleaning up. Yeah. So, anyway, we were, we were talking about your father after World War II coming back to Detroit mm -hmm. and working a regular job. Your mother at Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. and you and your sister, and your sister had a good time at a chocolate store. Yeah, too, she right? started a, uh, a chocolate shop, but it wasn't just a chocolate shop. When she started it in the late 70s, it was the first truly gourmet chocolate shop. She had the finest chocolates from around the world, from Switzerland, Belgium, all over. This was way ahead of its time. She had a chandelier, a couple of chandeliers in the chocolate shop. And it, um, it was a, a mecca for the whole Detroit area. My dad would <coughs> deliver the baskets at the holidays, and he would, before Garmin, before the NAV technology, he would map out, like his navigator days, the route of delivery so that he would not waste gas, oh. you know, and just go around uh. and he'd plot it out. It was a, f you know, I'd dip chocolate and assemble things in with chocolate molds. It was a family-run operation. Uh, Mom worked there, and, uh, and then it evolved into a, 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 a one-of-a-kind doll gallery and chocolate shop. And one of the doll artists was a, a woman named Ann Matrani, who was collected by several celebrities, including Demi Moore. But the Louvre Museum in Paris bought a bunch of her pieces, and she became renowned and I mean they're lifelike dolls. They're ceramic. No, no, they're, it's made out of a f clay <coughs> called Fimo clay, last I know, and um, they're lifelike and they sell for thousands and thousands of dollars and uh, you know we, um, she had the exclusive American rights to sell Anne's work just on a handshake. Uh, they, they were, they are amazing people uh, and um, uh, because Ricky had the uh, the American market for Anne Matrani dolls, people from all over would come to to see them and buy them. <coughs> and uh, uh, she had openings with uh, celebrities that would come, the limos and like to me and other doll artist collectors. I think Richard Simmons uh, w w was collecting dolls at that at that time. And uh, then something happened to the market, and I don't know what happened, but she got out of it, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, but it was just, uh, you know, uh, it was a great, a great time. You know, Richard Simmons was a waiter. Oh, really? Yeah. He was at a place called, uh, <coughs> it was in West, Westwood in California, mm -hmm. you know, in L.A., Westwood, and a place called Judy's. Uh, and he used to, Ed McMahon would go there all of the, and Oh, okay. Well, you know, they, Ed and, and Johnny, Johnny Carson used to drink a lot in the earlier days, and Johnny got sober, and so did I. <laughs> but uh, apparently Ed wanted to con continue mm -hmm. doing his impression of W.C. Fields, you know, um, <laughs> and he <laughs> kept drinking. But, you know, Richard Simmons used to put a glass in his mouth. and. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his big trick. Oh, no. Yeah, he got God. famous. <laughs> he got popular. Whatever happened to Richard Simmons? Is he lost the weight, and that was the end mm -hmm. of it. No, he was a diet guy, I remember, mm -hmm. for Right, a while. right. He did a, a workout regiment thing. A lot of things happen when you are when you get to be famous and you get to be rich. And where are you going? I'm, I'm going to put Mary on camera. going somewhere? This is, this is <laughs> who's been running around, and she's interested. But nobody knows that. They don't know it because you're going to make... <laughs> and she just wants the cheesecake. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's interested in. So, all right. So, anyway, that's it. Wanted to at least spend some time with you and show you the latest of the cheesecake. Oh, my God, what a creation. It's one of the wonders of the world. I don't know about that. All right. So, we're going to go. All right. It's, Thanks, Joey. Thanks. Uh, thank, thank you. Robert thank, Fleischer. Thank you. you can go to robertflesher.com. Yeah, or Fleischer Studios. Dot com. Yeah. And uh, see my thank watercolors. You for being so calm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joey. All right. Thank it's you. It's a Reynolds wrap. <laughs>